So your show is, uh, is it's brilliant, and it seems like you just never will run out of anything to talk about with what's going on in the world, oh, and sadly, especially yeah. with this administration right now. Well, that's now. right. That's because there's, there's literally too much to talk about. It, yeah. would be, it would be really nice on a human level and a comedic level if there was less happening. Yes. Because, you know, we'd all sleep better. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It would be, be nice if our job was harder, in a way. Yeah, it's, it really is. I mean, you, you point out all the things that are going on and remind a lot of people that aren't paying attention because you have to pay attention. Is that hard to pay attention to all that? Well, I guess the, the problem is that it, what's, what's coming out of the White House is such a soap opera all the time that it can be distracting because he's kind of throwing verbal smoke bombs all the time. So it's, it's very easy to get distracted from actually terrible things that are happening yeah. because life is a roller coaster of pain at the moment. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes. So you're doing something that's really, really cool. I don't know if you know about this, but explain right. what's happening before we talk about your children's book. So what, so what happened it, it was on our show on Sunday, um, Mike Pence, who is a man who I think has few qualities to his name. However, one thing I love about him is his rabbit. He has a fantastic rabbit. Uh, I, I have no beef with his rabbit whatsoever. <laughs> and his rabbit is called Marlon Bundo, which is an outstanding name <laughs> for a bunny. You, you, don't, you don't have to like him to acknowledge that's excellent bunny naming. See, it's, and it's a great bunny. If you, have, uh, if you have a problem with that bunny, you're dead inside. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> But he, he clearly, uh, to put it in the nicest possible terms, is not a friend of the LGBTQ community, uh, Mike Pence. So he's written a book about his bunny, or his family have written a book about his bunny. And so we, on top of that, have, have released our own book about his bunny, uh, where his bunny falls in love with another male bunny and gets married, <laughs> because that's the world we want to live in. So it's a children's book. It's, All right. a, it's a children's book. All yeah. right. So... So, so you released it at the same time, the same time is yeah. his children's book. Yes. And this children's book um, is right now, as we sit here and speak, yours is number one on Amazon. It is? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I did hear, I, I, did, I did hear that unfortunately we have sold out because we were not anticipating people really buying it. Uh -huh. but, but you can, you can, there's, they're doing a reprint, so you, you can still buy it. You can buy the second printing, so it'll take a few weeks. But I yeah, love it's... it so much. The fact that you wrote a children's book where his bunny falls in love with another male bunny yeah. makes yeah. me happier than I can <laughs> even tell Good. you. It's just, it's, Good. and that it's number one, and all the money is going where? It's, it's going to the Trevor Project, which is a fantastic organization for at risk uh, LGBT youth, and uh, to uh, an AIDS project in America, AIDS America. Good for you. Fantastic. Good for you. It's All a, right. They're a great organization. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. All right. So uh, you're doing so much good. So we're talking during the break, and because of what you do all the time on your show, you have to pay attention to all the stuff that's going on in the world and how scary it is. Mm -hmm. And you have a little boy. He's two years old. Yeah. And how is? Uh, what do you feel about that? Well, at the moment, he doesn't really understand what's happening in the world, and kind of long may that continue, because uh, it, it's. I don't have to explain to him just uh, how sad things are. But part of the reason of, of writing this book was to so that I could read something to him. Uh, which kind of paints the world in the light that you want it to be, rather than the way that it's currently being painted. Yeah, yeah. good for you. All right, so here's what we're going to do. So the challenge is, you are going to uh, send you into the audience, and we're going to put 60 seconds on the clock, and we're going to give you a stack of books. HBO is so mm -hmm. proud and, and a supporter of the Trevor Project. They're going to uh, give away, uh, uh, to the Trevor Project, $100 for every book that you give away. OK. So, all right, a couple all right. of, wait. This is a physical challenge. Yeah, yeah physical ch I, yeah. My, my gifts are not necessarily physical. Well, that's what you're doing. <laughs> couple of rules. You cannot pass a whole stack of books and ask them to pass them down the road. You have to give one out at a time. Oh, boy. You can't throw them. You have to hand them in that's individually. A good, that's a good Andy idea. Andy and Joel are going to be in the aisles with more copies okay. in case you run it. You have 60 seconds okay. on your mark. Starting Get set. Win. Go. Go. Go.
you I, feel? I'm more out of breath than is ideal yeah. for that level of exercise. Uh, uh, uh. All right, well, thanks to HBO. We're going to round up your total of $10,000. Oh, yes! And... <laughs> also... Everybody in the audience is going home with a copy, and Last Week Tonight airs on Sundays at 11 on HBO, and everybody at home, go buy this book to help support. Thank you so much. We'll be back.